aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. To the inside. And the rejection by MP. Kaminga kicks to Poole. Brown outside. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the first. Monk finds Holmes. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. For three, Mitchell. It's rebounded by Golden State. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from... For Jonathan Kaminga. And Andrew Wiggins is up in for Jordan Poole. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Sabonis, he's checked in for Metsu. Barnes comes in for Terrence Davis. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Monk. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Davion Mitchell. Over in the corner, Barnes. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Three points. Barnes has got his second basket of the night. Curry fires from way outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. Ahead by... Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And Kenny, were there any specific teams you looked forward to playing? I mean, any team Shaq was on because you had to be hyped for that, you know, especially when you got Akeem when they go on head to head. I always look forward to that. Yeah, you, 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 you're lucky you had him, Kenny, because you were terrified to come down into the paint. Not true. I wasn't terrified. Just a little bit uh, shaky. Now let's talk about our game tonight. A nightmare of a first half for the Kings. They need to give more energy and effort on the boards. The rebounding delta has been one of the main issues for them. Probably is... is Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved, a, a full team effort. Brown with a screen on Mitchell. Here's Poole, and he banks in the lane. Poole's got four points now in the quarter. Poole does a great job there just extending and using his length to have an advantage on that shot. Holmes setting the pick for Mitchell. We know Greg. <laughs> is having versatile big man. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? Brown with a screen on Mitchell. The kick out to Brown. Really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Brown outside, over Barnes, and it's Brown missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Warrior. 16 seconds left in the game. Second personal foul. Shooting for second level. We'll go to the line to shoot two. He struggled early on, but this is a much improved part of Rashawn Holmes' game. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Brown outside. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may... Well, you guys played really well for all four quarters tonight. What was the key to putting together a complete performance? Yeah, it sounds simple, but like, 
sometimes the key is just making shots. You know, this game is a lot easier when the ball is going through the hoop. Last night I saw a couple shots fall early, and I just started to flow from there. My teammates started to look for me, and I was able to get it done. <laughs> yes, you were. I mean, that was one of the most impressive scoring nights of your rookie season so far. Do you feel like you're figuring out this league? Thanks, Candice. Listen, I, I didn't even know how many points I had. I don't know about figuring things out. This league will humble you real fast if you let it. I'm just trying to grind and just get better every day. That's it. Right on. Good job, champ. Appreciate it. A very convincing win for you guys tonight. Does it feel like you're starting to answer some of the questions that have followed you since the draft? That's not something I think about, John. You know, my focus is on this team and ensuring we achieve our success for the season. You know, that means making the playoffs and hopefully advancing, competing against the best teams in the league. And uh, that's really what I'm worried about right now. Now, can you talk about your performance tonight? I'm just happy to get this win. You know, glad we, you know, held on to the lead and didn't let them get back into it. You know, games like this allows, you know, coach to let some guys play, you know, maybe even, you know, get some guys some rest. You know, it's great we can relax a little bit down the stretch. You know, it makes it easy, you know, for you to get up for the next game. All right, man. Thanks for your time. Anytime, man. Saw you on Top Takes Daily, boss. You were great. <clears throat> it's okay? a little bit cramped in here, isn't it? Oh, well, <laughs> we would be happy to have this meeting in your office, Ashley, but you have a strict no chairs policy. That's right. Yeah, and I'm a male on this one. I'm a big well, fan I'm just of saying, pro chairs. I think that the, <laughs> the boss girl would have a bigger office, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Should we go to hers? No. Then why don't we just start the meeting then? That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so, like Ricky told you, Okay, we're gonna slow play the whole win over the entire city thing, but that doesn't mean we can't get started, all right? Okay. Since the narrative is a media invention, we think that steering the narrative through savvy use of the media should be our top priority. I mean, that makes per perfect sense. Absolutely. What's the plan? We have a three-prong attack. Three. Prong one, Lozo the Crown. Yep. Excuse me? Lozo the Crown, a government name, Lorenzo <sighs> Alexander, okay? He is by far the most influential fan of the team on Twitter. By far. And he is solidly, tragically, hashtag team chef all the way. What is that? Yeah, he works at a corner store not too far from here. What? Uh, What's you that said face? a corner store. Yep. <laughs> What's wrong corner? with the corner store? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Don't start thinking that you're better than people because you can put a ball in a hole. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You got it. Um, I know I'm right. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to walk over to the corner store, introduce yourself, talk to him, hit him with that empty charm that we all know and love. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in there. And pretty soon he's going to be singing your praises on social media. Yep. Okay, so uh, what are the other prongs? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Prong number two. Mm -hmm. I've gotten in with uh, Jake Duvall. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> For real? Yes. Let's and go. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like... That is so tough. He's like the OG around here, he's man. He's the last real movie star. He's, you know, the unofficial team mascot or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let's he's awesome. Rain it in a little bit, okay? I pulled some strings. I got a meeting for the two of you to get together. We're going to see if he can boost your cred with the fan base. Ash, a let's bit. go, man. I'm a huge fan. Okay. I... Calm down. Just a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Got a little hype. Okay. See that. Uh, third prong. Third prong. We set up a puff piece interview for you with someone who can just throw you a lot of softballs. Yeah, we're still setting it up, but it should be a piece of cake, something you can do in your sleep. Okay. No big deal. Meantime, go introduce yourself to Lowe's with the crown. Yes. At the corner store, right? At the corner store. You got it. I can do that. <laughs> Look, oh this guy's got an enormous Ooh. fan base, and his engagement is through the roof. So, yeah, he's also got an 80% likability rating with people who identify as city fans yeah. online, so... Laugh all you want, but getting Lorenzo on your side is the only way you're gonna deal with that problem with Shep you got. Okay, okay, all right, I, I hear you. Yeah. I will go see Lozo at the, uh, at the corner store. Um, you guys want anything? Want some batteries, <laughs> gum, Snickers? 
Okay, Water. just bring back that beautiful smile when you come back, and we can talk about next steps. Now okay. that I can do. Good. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. Hey, what's up, brother? Um, by any chance, do you have any more Glacier Freeze in the back? Uh, I don't see any in the fridge out here. For who? For me, bro. I'm right here in front of you, man. Yeah, I think we all out. So if Shep would say you're selling one? Nah, Shep's my boy. His money's no good here. Your money's also no good here, but for, like, the opposite reason. Well, I didn't know y'all two, like, that close. I never seen you two together. Yeah, that's my mans. We, like, follow each other on social and everything. I'm Lozo the Crown. I'm sure you've seen me. Lozo the Crown. Yeah, yeah, I seen some of your posts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And right. Chef's retweeted me a bunch too, so we good. Okay, cool. So if I retweet you, could I just get the Gatorade? Nah, bro. I don't want your weak game anywhere near my account. My weak game. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> in fact, where you at? As of right now, you block. Oh, come on, bro. You know there's more than basketball. This is a 40-inch vert, right? You know what's wrong with you? You got no backbone. You let people walk all over you. Bro, I just want the Gatorade. That's it. I'm not talking about me right now, bro. You see what Perk said about you? Yeah, he always talks trash. That's what I'm saying, bro. He says you're useless, and what do you do? Nothing. He says you have no upside, and what do you do? Nothing. The man says you're lukewarm garbage, and what do you do? No, no, I got it. Nothing. So you see what I'm saying then? But I don't remember him saying I'm lukewarm garbage, by the way. Oh, he said it. Look, it's from this morning. I know I said MP was high garbage, but I can admit I was wrong. This man, not even hot. He's lukewarm garbage. Same okay. stank, let's heat. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, I'm not gonna round myself up over one man's opinions about me. That's not what I'm gonna do. Look, bro, you can do whatever you wanna do. But you wanna know why we don't rep you? Why? That's why. You think Shep would let that stand? I mean, Shep's gonna just talk. Nothing wrong with talking if you can back it up, bro. But you know what? I don't think you can get it, because you're not one of us. You never will be. You going the wrong way? That's the fridge. You know what? What? You're going to sell me that Gatorade one day. I promise you that. Uh, I don't think so. I believe you know Lozo the Crown. I followed him forever. I just got clowned by your boy Lorenzo. Wait, what? What? What happened? Yeah. He refused to sell me a Gatorade because I wasn't Shep. And he called me a coward without a backbone. Whoa. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. He's not wrong. What? You serious right now? <laughs> In a manner of speaking. Would you like to explain what you mean by that? Look, <laughs> we all know that MP's not actually a coward, okay? But yeah. he is under an intense amount of scrutiny on social media. Yeah. And when it comes to succeeding in the social game, Lozo the Crown knows more than most. MBAs mean very little in this space. Excuse me? <laughs> if Lozo the Crown calls MP a coward, it doesn't mean that it's true, but it, it is an accurate reflection of how he's being perceived currently on social media. By one person. Okay, hold on, let's just calm down and take a step back. No, I, I don't want to be calm right now. That's the problem. My man disrespected me to my face and I took it. For what? A few followers? Okay, forget about Lozo the Crown, all right? It was a good idea to speak with him, but it's clear that he's not actually gonna be helpful to us, so oh. let's find someone else to work with. Any ideas? Mm, I disagree. What? And I'll take it one step farther. I, uh, you know what? I'm glad he did what he did. <laughs> Are you? What? It lit a fire under you. Now, we need to respond. No, okay? you don't need to respond You to send a few shots over Perk's way, and you show this Lorenzo kid what kind of a man you are. Yeah, show him that you're a little baby that can't take criticism. Or a man who fights. He fights on the court, Ashley. No, 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 he plays on the court. Okay, and he lives in the city, oh, and we're trying to win mm -hmm. in both areas. Mm-hmm, not in this way. What are we doing here? I don't know, I guess we're trying to take the low road. Is that what we're trying to do? We all agreed that we wanted to win over people like Lorenzo. Mm-hmm, people like the him. The skeptics, the haters. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. No, this is true. No, no, Mila, you weren't even there. I know I wasn't there. No, 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 I looked him in his face. 
I can't win these people over at the same time. Like lay down? Mm-hmm. Great. No, telling you so to lay down. We hit back. Okay. You tell Perk that you you don't take criticism from washed up crusty old men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like exactly that. Mm -hmm. like Shep. Well, people love Shep. Yeah. Some okay. people. Oh, He's gosh. not Shep. Once again, for those of you who are having trouble understanding this, that is the entire problem we're trying to solve here today. All right. I, right? Thank you, Ashley. I get it. Okay, You're very well, hold welcome. On. Wait, wait. Maybe there's a middle ground. You know, we could we could say something like we understand that he has content to put out, mm -hmm. but yeah. you don't care about the opinions of someone that's not in the locker room. You know, it's right. more mature. Fine. No, 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 no. I like but, that. no, no, no. But I do care about the people that's not in the locker room. Good. Yeah. I care about the entire city. You fam. want people to know that? Yes, okay. Well, at least this wouldn't make you sound petty. No, that doesn't make you sound like a fighter well, I was either. Just trying to does help. it? Ashley wants you to sound like a spoiled brat. Wow. So if that's the road you want to take, please be my guest. <laughs> at least I won't let him sound weak. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's enough. Y'all are here for a reason. And believe it or not, this is what I want. This right here. All these different opinions and options before I make a decision. Before I, MP, make a decision. This is my call. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do what feels right. So what you wanna do, big man? You know what? I like what you said about Perk needing to crank out content. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm gonna say to that? I don't care what my game looks like to him. All I'm worried about is helping my teammates win. And that's it. You know what, I love it. it Type it, hit sand. Come on. It's your call. It's done. Great. Done. All right. Good. Great, one last thing while I still have your attention. Shep has a much bigger online presence than you do, so we need to amplify this newfound discovery of a backbone. <laughs> Next game, you do something highlight worthy, okay? Anything. And then post about it. Maybe with a little Shep shade thrown in. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. That like. does not sound like me at all. But it should. But it doesn't. Okay, if you want to back up that tweet you just sent, just go out there and be yourself. Lead your teammates, get the win. That's it. That's That's fine it. by me as long as he posts about it afterwards. Whatever. I do. I can do that. All right then. You know, I really got to say, I'm loving this whole team of rivals thing we got going on. Nice work today, and love the passion. 